Welcome to the Acumix Dry Acid Dissolution System Operator Training Video. Acumix is an intelligent acid mixer that sets a new standard in acid mixing by electronically verifying and simplifying batch production while recording critical data. With a series of first-to-market features, Acumix capabilities include system self-verification, radio frequency identification RFID connectors, electronic data capture, barcode scanning, and built-in controls for acid transfer, all of which may improve efficiency and reduce risk of human errors. The chapters in this video include Introduction to Acumix, Pre-mixing preparation, Starting a batch, Adding granuflow or citrusate to the hopper, Final steps and batch verification, transferring the batch to a storage tank, FAQ. This video also includes frequently asked questions where we address performing a jug fill from a mixed batch of acid, manually entering barcode information, failed and expired batch. Let's look at the primary components of Acumix. Here is the user interface, the box staging shelf, the hopper lid, and the access panel where you will find the transfer hose and USB interface. During the installation process, both the transfer hose and the paired storage tank connector are fitted with radio frequency identification RFID readers. The status indicator light is intended to provide the user with signals regarding the progress of automatic processes, the need for action on behalf of the user, or any errors that may occur so that he or she may go about other work when direct user interaction is not required. A steady green light indicates that the system is plugged in and operational. At the end of mixing, the green light will flash when the batch has passed the specific gravity requirement and is ready to be transferred. A steady amber light indicates that an automated process is running in the background while a flashing amber light signals that action or input is required on behalf of the operator. A steady red light indicates that an error has occurred. Flashing red means the batch has failed verification and must be discarded. Please refer to the operator's manual for a complete list of warnings and precautions, as well as indications for use. Also, refer to your clinic's policies and procedures before mixing a batch of acid with Acumix Dry Acid Dissolution System. Wear appropriate protective gear before starting. This includes gloves, suitable clothing that protects your skin from acid exposure, and protective eyewear. Also, refer to your clinic's policies and procedures regarding protective gear. The Acumix system is designed for use only with granuflow and citrusate dry acid concentrate provided by Fresenius Medical Care. Ensure that you have sufficient cases on hand to mix the batch size you intend. Six cases of dry acid are required to mix a 99-gallon batch, and eight are required for a 132-gallon batch. Each operator will need a unique user ID and passcode, which must be set up by the system administrator prior to mixing a batch of acid. Be sure you have your user ID and passcode ready before starting to mix a batch of acid. Acumix will not allow any batch mixed more than 14 days ago to be transferred to a storage tank and will require the batch to be discarded. Do not allow batches to remain in the dissolution tank longer than 14 days after mixing. Prior to mixing a batch of acid, determine whether or not disinfection is required. Disinfection is required if 1. Water in tank or water system, including distribution loop, exceeds 100 CFUs per milliliter. 2. Water is left in mixer with no acid for 4 hours or more. 3. After repair is performed on tank, hopper, or any component of hydraulic circuit. If water unmixed with dry acid concentrate remains in the Acumix tank for 4 hours or more, Acumix will require the water to be discarded and a disinfection cycle to be completed. Therefore, 
mix the dry acid product immediately after any rinse cycle. Ensure that the external transfer hose located behind the access panel is connected to the Accumix prior to starting the batch and not to the storage tank. Accumix will not begin the batch cycle unless the transfer hose is attached in the proper position as shown here. Select Start New Batch. The operator is then prompted to enter their user ID and passcode in order to proceed. The system will allow multiple attempts if the operator enters incorrect credentials. Next, select the desired prescription and batch size by scanning the UDI code from the case of dry acid concentrate you intend to use. The Accumix will calculate the number of cases needed based on the prescription and batch size. Accumix will now perform the batch preparation process. During this step, the tank performs a rinse and self-verification. At a maximum flow rate of 3 gallons per minute at PSI 60, a 99-gallon batch should take about an hour to complete this step. For a batch size of 132 gallons, or if the output rate from your reverse osmosis RO system is less than the maximum, the amount of time required to complete this step will be extended. In the event that the water supply temperature is lower than 19.5 degrees Celsius, a banner will appear notifying the operator. The tank will then automatically warm the water through circulation until it meets temperature specification. Similarly, if the supply water is too warm, the system will allow the water to stand in the tank to cool based on room temperature. Either warming or cooling can add a few minutes or a few hours depending on the initial temperature of the supply water. After the system has passed all verifications, the green banner and proceed to powder entry button will appear, allowing the operator to begin adding the dry acid granules. If the self-verification fails, the user will be prompted to retry. A second failure would require that a technician trained to service the Accumix follow the troubleshooting steps outlined in the Accumix service manual. The current contents of the tank will be discarded as part of this process. Please note that you cannot begin a new batch until troubleshooting has been completed. Prior to scanning the first case of dry acid, the operator will again be prompted to re-enter their user ID and passcode. Accumix will automatically calculate the number of cases required based on the batch size you selected. This total case count is indicated on the initial powder entry screen. The shelf is designed to hold maximum two cases. To begin, place two cases on the shelf with labels facing out so that you can scan them. Use the barcode scanner to scan the QR code on the first case of dry acid concentrate. Once case is successfully scanned, the prescription information will appear on the screen and you will be prompted to open lid and add one bag from the case to the hopper. When you open the lid, you'll notice water in the hopper already. This is intended to help reduce the amount of dry acid powder blown back into the air. Dry acid concentrate may compact or clump during handling and storage. Break clumps prior to mixing. After opening the lid, notice the message changes to instruct you to empty the bag and close the lid. Accumix counts the number of cases scanned as well as the number of times the lid is opened and closed. This helps to ensure that the correct number of dry acid bags are added and that the hopper is adequately rinsed between each addition. Once the system has detected that the contents of the entire first case have been added, the Accumix will automatically spray and flood the inside of the hopper to ensure that all dry acid concentrate has been incorporated. After each hopper rinse, the Accumix will prompt the operator to either repeat the rinse or confirm the hopper is empty. At this point, 
the operator should look inside the hopper to ensure that no powder has been left. Residual acid left in the hopper may lead to a failed batch. If you notice dry acid left in the hopper, perform a manual rinse using the repeat hopper rinse button until the hopper appears empty. Press confirm hopper is empty to proceed to the next case. The touch screen will now indicate that the next case should be scanned and the dry acid added. Repeat this process until all required cases have been added. Again, be sure to close the lid between each bag added to the hopper to ensure accurate counting of bags by the Accumix. After all cases have been added and the operator confirms the hopper is empty, press the Proceed to Final Fill button. At this point, Accumix will fill to the correct level with water from your RO. No interaction is required on the part of the operator. As mentioned previously, the time required to complete filling will depend on the water inflow rate from your RO system. After the tank has filled to the correct level and the batch has been completely mixed, the system will automatically verify the batch by calculating specific gravity. There is no need to perform a manual specific gravity test. A green banner will appear, indicating that the batch has passed the specific gravity requirement. This message will include the specific gravity results. Confirm that the displayed specific gravity is within the correct parameters and that the displayed storage tank is correct. Also, follow existing clinic procedures for confirming and transferring a new batch of mixed acid. When done, select Proceed to Transfer to continue. You will again be required to enter your user ID and passcode to transfer the newly mixed acid batch to the storage tank. During the installation process, both the transfer hose and the paired storage tank connector are fitted with radio frequency identification, RFID readers, and each acid prescription is assigned to one specific storage tank. The designated storage tank for the prescription you just mixed will appear on the screen. In our example, the batch will be stored in the red tank. Open the access panel door and detach the transfer hose from Accumix. Uncoil the hose so that it can reach the designated storage tank. Connect the transfer hose to the tank as shown here and press the start transfer button. Once the system has verified through the RFID that the hose has been attached to the correct tank, the transfer will begin. The transfer progress will be indicated on the display screen. You will have the option to either pause or cancel the transfer any time before the transition point is reached. After the system moves past the transition point, transfer cannot be paused, only cancelled. When the batch transfer is complete, the display will return to the home screen. At this point, the transfer hose should be coiled and placed back behind the access panel. Reattach the connector to the mix tank. This concludes the operator training portion of this video. You may exit now or continue on to view the frequently asked questions. In addition to the storage tank transfer option, the Accumix can perform jug fills by utilizing the jug fill assembly, which will be fitted with RFID at the time of installation. Only this assembly will be recognized by Accumix and allow for transfer of the mixed acid batch. Attach the transfer hose to the jug fill assembly and be sure that the jug you are about to fill is on a stable surface below the level of water in the tank. Accumix does not actively pump acid during a jug fill, relying instead on gravity to empty the tank. Once Accumix detects that the jug transfer assembly has been connected, the Start Jug Transfer option will appear on the screen. Select this option, then position the assembly over the jug opening. Using the on-off valve to regulate the outflow of acid, fill as many jugs as required. Please note, there will be a small amount of acid that cannot be pumped out of the tank. When this level is reached, 
hit the discard button to empty the tank. If the batch is not transferred to the mix tank within 14 days of mixing, the following error will be displayed. At this point, the tank must be drained and the batch discarded. If for any reason you were not able to scan your dry acid concentrate, the case barcode, expiration date and lot number are located on the dry acid concentrate label and may be entered manually. Select Manual Case Entry to perform this function. This concludes the Acumix Dissolution System Operator Training video. The Acumix mark is used with permission of Isopure.